Hello everybody, uh, this time I'm going to show you how to download older versions of software that are compatible with your current macOS. In my case, I'm using macOS Catalina. Uh, the reason why is because um, Monterey is not compatible with Pro Tools, so I had to wait until Avid uh, decides to upgrade their system and be compatible with uh, Monterey. In the meantime, I had to stay with macOS Catalina, so that way I don't have any problems. Let's click on the Apple Store. We're going to search for GarageBand. And if we click on the cloud, it's gonna give you this message. GarageBand cannot be installed on this computer because macOS version 11 or later is required. So I don't have version 11 for macOS Carolina, so I have 10.15.7. And that's the reason why I cannot use this latest version. So uh, just so you know, this is only in one, one of my computers um, on my new macOS Pro Max. I'm actually using the latest version of GarageBand and Logic Pro. Anyway, so I'm gonna look for Logic Pro also, and it's gonna give me the same message. So there's no way we can do this. So what we're gonna do is, so we're gonna go in the left bottom corner, we're gonna click on your name, and this case my name, and then it's gonna show you all the different projects you have made so far. So we're gonna look for GarageBand, and there it is. It was downloaded in 2018, which is four years ago. Wow. Anyway, so if we click on the, on the application, it's gonna take us to this window and then if we click on the cloud, it's gonna tell us the same thing. So we don't wanna do this. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna click on the cloud. And here, it's gonna give us a different message. And the message is the current version requires macOS 11 or later, but you can download the last compatible version. So that's what we're looking for. We're just gonna click download. And that's downloading now. Okay, so we're gonna look for Logic Pro and we're gonna do the same thing. So just click on the cloud, it's gonna give you the same message, same window, so you just click on download, and then software is gonna be downloading. All right, so both GarageBand and Logic Pro have been downloaded, so that's pretty much what, you, what we wanted. But that's pretty much it, that's how you download all this software, and that goes for all different software that you have purchased in the past, and you're using an older version of macOS on your computer, I and mean, you don't wanna download to Monterey because some of the software are not compatible yet, like in my case, Pro Tools is not compatible with Monterey, so I had to wait. I mean, it is if you use uh, Rosita, but uh, uh, it's my understanding some of the plugins don't work as they supposed to. Uh, but you know, I don't wanna take that chance. I wanna use all my plugins, so I'm gonna stay with Catalina for a little while until everybody upgrade their, their software to be compatible with Monterey. Anyway, so that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I say thank you. Put a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.